All right, here we are, Middlebury, Indiana. We've got Nick, general manager of Class B for Coachman, and you guys are gonna love this video. We've got a complete tour, 2023 tour. That's right, where they make the Nova, the Beyond, the Galleria. Nick's gonna show us it all. You're gonna wanna watch this video for sure. Definitely hit that like button, slam that subscribe button. And are you ready, Nick? Are we I'm gonna ready. go check this out? Yep, gonna show you some stuff. There. All right, let's go. <laughs> Got a great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors. That's right, folks. If you love Class B RVs, camper vans, you're definitely going to want to watch this one. That's right, 2023 Coachman Class B RV Manufacturing factory tour in indiana and boy oh boy we got a good one for you definitely hit that like button if you're not familiar with the channel it would mean so much to us please subscribe so we can get these videos out to more people hit that like button it helps to grow the video and we've got a great one for you today we went all the way to indiana and definitely hit our facebook instagram and our website how to have fun outdoors.com we got all kinds of great class b and rv videos for you today it's all all about that's right coachman and we're with the one and only nick who's been a close friend and the general manager of that's right coachman class b division this is going to be a one of a kind the latest update uh, we're going to do some q a with nick but coachman is a division of forest river and Forest River is a monster. It's been a Berkshire Hathaway company since 2005, and they've got so many brands, it's hard to believe. They're headquartered in, that's right, Middlebury, Indiana, just outside of Elkhart, the RV capital of the world. And in these facilities, they do three types of Class B, the Coachman Beyond, formerly the CrossFit, the Galleria, and the Nova. We've done videos on all of them, and Nick is going to be kind enough to show us around today and also fill you in on what's going on in 2003 with the RV business and the Class B business. And we're going to talk about ProMasters, we're going to talk about Mercedes, we're going to talk about the Fords, and we're going to talk about some of the new things that they're doing at the facility. If you're not familiar with our channel, take a look at all these Coachman videos we've done in the past, including with Nick and his background and how about all these camper van mods and tips, you name it, and hacks. We've done all of those we just did the 2023 galleria the 23 nova video is out you're definitely going to want to watch those nice walkthroughs on the complete video but today you're going to get to see a little bit more than what you've seen in the past uh, with some of these tour type videos nick is working on a lot of different things and he was open and willing to share with us what's going on with the plant and some of the cool things that they're looking at and working on so we've got an exciting video for you so grab some popcorn sit back and relax and by the way there is a very detailed q a with nick and i on the state of the industry the rv industry in 2023 and everything going on with coachman lead times pricing all of this stuff you're definitely going to want to watch that that comes up a little bit farther in the video but in any case we'll start with the tour then we'll jump into the q a and then we'll complete the tour here in Middlebury, Indiana with the Coachman Class B facility. Let's get started with the Leach A and Nick. All right, folks, here we are. We've got a special video for you today. That's right. We've got the queen of Class B, Alice Maltini Taylor from Italy. And one of her dreams was to get here in 2023 and meet up with Nick, the general manager of the Class B division here for Coachman and uh, Today we're going to show you a up-to-date tour of this factory. There's been a couple of these videos over the years, but it's been a couple of years. And today we're going to show you all about it. And Nick, take it away. Tell us what we got here. Yep. Well, we're number one, thank you for making the trip. It means a lot to us. We are in the back of Plant 7. Uh, depending on when you came here as a customer, you might have just seen us build in Plant 5. We had an opportunity to take over Plant 7. You'll see this is really good. I call this our chicken coop. This is really good for a long run. This is basically chassis prep here. Okay. When we go into building five, you'll see cabinetry, electrical, uh, more come to form. So we're gonna show you some, some really good points in plant seven. Uh, this is where the vans come in. We, we start pulling the seats here. Uh, we would have a, a seat that looks like that. Yeah. That, that young man, Kevin, will start steaming 
and putting your recovers on if it calls for recovers. He can do about seven recovers a day. Here are where we store all of our rec recovers with our new seat pattern. And he's pretty much like an upholster. Okay. Um, it's the skin with a lot of steam, opens it up, let him take off the OEM and put on ours. And then for everyone back home, you do all three models here, yep. right? Yep. So you do the Novas on the ProMaster with RAM. Yep. You've got the Beyonds on the Coachman uh, Beyond for the uh, Ford chassis. Same and then thing. the Galleria on yep. the Mercedes all run through here. Same guys that have always built the Galleria yep. and have always built them Beyond are always building the Nova. So we don't have three separate lines. Yep. What I'm the, I was just talking about this uh, Monday when I was up at a dealership. The one thing I'm most proud about is we don't care what chassis you want. Our build in the Nova is about 95% of the build in a Galleria, but a much higher MSRP or price. So outside of the radius doors and maybe the um, Polar Package Plus, everything that's in a Galleria outside of the size is in a Nova or beyond. So right. we don't care what chassis you want. The, the Nova's great. For me, I'm getting older, I'm getting shorter and wider. That chassis would be probably for me. Um, front wheel drive, two inches wider on the Nova. Ford and Mercedes are, are very similar. Ford all wheel drive, that's the big driver with the Ford. Uh, it's, 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 along with comfortability. And then we all know Mercedes, high tech, yep. diesel engine's gonna run forever. We got the 2023 chassis gonna be coming out in a couple months. Um, we're excited for that, but uh, let's show you what we got we're All right. here today. Let's take let's a look. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, what do we got here? Yeah, so this is kind of, you know, this, this each van is a tube and they flex. They're not necessarily like our cars that have multiple pillars in it and, and assembled. So these vans have some flex. A lot of our competitors, some of our competitors, use 4x8 tongue and groove plywood. I don't like that. This is still an automobile. If someone were to go off-road, meaning stopping to uh, advert a collision and they went off-road, man, the propensity of that 4x8 sheet, that tongue and groove to pop, then we got a big problem because then you see it yep. in your floor. So what we decided to do, and again, we take some ideas that other guys have done for a long time and kind of run them through our heads and say, you know what, I think we can do a little bit better. While this is marine grade plywood, it's 5 8 inch, and it's one piece. So this is gonna get screwed down to that chassis and really give it some rigidity and lock it in versus the, the four by eight sheet, in our opinion. What you're also gonna see, and I'm gonna step in front of the camera here, I'm not gonna name the names. Um, you'll know when you see your cabinets pulled up, but we don't cut, we don't use a six foot wide piece of linoleum, we use an eight foot wide. Some of the guys will try to cut corners and when you look at the bottom, if you bring up the false bottom of your cabinet, you're gonna see your plywood or your OSB. So we're linoleum, left left to right, front to back. We get a water leak, it's gonna get out the chassis the way the chassis was designed to get condensation out. So we feel um, this is a really good feature, um, linoleum left to right, front to back. The only spot we don't linoleum left to right front to back because there's a little, couple little slivers on the 22D that we just can't do because we got plumbing and whatnot running through. But almost every van, front to back, left to right, and you already can tell that we're not gonna take anything out of this because they're matching the pattern of the Perfect on the other one, yep. yep. This is something that doesn't get pitched much, much at all. And um, this is um, Radiant Shield. And the number one spot the hottest spot you're going to encounter, in our opinion, when camping, is the spot you are just pulling up to in daylight. Okay, so asphalt, a couple months, is going to be 150 some degrees. So how do we keep that heat from radiating up to the bottom of the floor? So this goes on. I pointed this out when we were walking up here. This is a composite, R2, R value. We don't use it for R value. We use it because versus a wood application, this will not rot, mold, um, produce any spores. It's a composite. Then we send this out to laminate this R38. Now, when I say R38, that's a reflective value. That's not an R insulating value. 
so as we walk over here all right so now we're back into yeah. the van here so underneath now we've got a screw tacked oh, okay. down but underneath oh. here you can see yeah. in this corner tommy you yep. can see that span in the wall so this radiant shield is gonna keep that heat from emanating up into your van okay now i really like that reflective material radiant shield so wow every year I pay a couple more bucks for the chassis, but the sheet metal gets thinner. So this isn't too bad, but we can still... We can, that's that's too funny. We can still hear some reverberation. Yeah. And this is what the customers are going to hear. Imagine if we had one, two, three, four, five, six panels untreated. So this is called Cozy Wrap. When you select that option on your build, this is what Cozy Wrap is. If the camera can pick it up, you can see that aluminum that radiant shield yeah. that is laminated on top of that is embedded into this. Yeah, I see it. So, by adding this sticky surface, we're doing two things. We're cutting down our, we're, we're increasing our tensile strength. Right? Okay. Yeah. Structure. Wow. So, just by adding that layer of adhesive, we're adding more tensile strength. And then now, when the heat hits the roof, the first thing I want it to do is encounter that radiant shield and get out. And then we do the same thing um, in certain applications on the interior. That's yeah, and we have the cozy wrap yeah, option yep. and we do a lot of winter camping. Yep. We live in New Hampshire and tell them, Alicia, I mean, it's just been yeah. fantastic. It's been fantastic. Yeah. You don't have a problem on losing temperature sure. from inside. Yep. Uh, it remains so nice and cozy. The good temperature remains for a long time. Yep. We love it. Yeah, and yep. last night we camped here at the Coachman Campground. Oh, Thank you again. Yep. And it was 21 degrees yep. and, and we were nice and cozy. Slept like babies. The doggies slept like babies yep. and yep. nobody yep. felt anything. Yep. Yeah, it was well, great. What's good about that? Obviously keeping the heat out, but it's also keeping the heat in. Yeah. So heat out means helping our air conditioner performance over the years. Yep. Heat in meaning not, not needing so much pumping from our Truma. So, um, I love the insulation story. It's something we've worked on since day one because I ran into a customer in San Diego that was at the San Diego show and he goes, hey, uh, are you a rep? I'm like, no, I'm the GM, but I'm here working the show. And he goes, can you show me where insulation is in my Airstream? And I was like, you know, I'm not doing this today. Uh, he was <laughs> mad. He was mad. And because I was talking to him about our insulation and he goes, show me where I can find where my insulation is. So every Coachman Class B has a trash can drawer. So I went to a 24Q at the show and opened up our trash can drawer. He saw full insulation. And then we went to his after five o'clock and I popped out his trash can drawer in his Airstream. And there was a cavity, guys. I don't want to embellish it. Let's call it about 18 inches wide. There was a strip of pink insulation here. Not covering the full span or anything. He looked at me like I sold him the van. Mm. I knew that minute. Okay, let's keep on building on this insulation story. Yeah, yes. and um, it, it's it should yeah. be insulated. Yeah. Um, the one thing I love doing is when a Nova is complete. Would you go out on the outside of a Nova in a, a campground or on the dealer's lot? Hit just tap the side of my van. Yeah. Just tap the side of the coach, but you're going to hear something much different than what everybody else's is. There's stuff in my walls. Yeah. It's just not vibrating all over the place. <laughs> There's, it's actually packed full of rock wool insulation. We like that. Yeah. So. yeah, and I think, you know, at all the coachman rallies, I mean, everybody highlights, you know, the benefit yeah. of the cozy wrap and yeah. the insulation and... Yeah. Uh, that's been a big plus for well, the Coachman it, products. It doesn't matter if it's too hot or too cold, no. it saves you out in your life. <laughs> and, and we're just not resting on our laurels on this. This might not be the 100% best way to do it, but I've tried a bunch of others. Yeah. Uh, there's Lizard Skin, which is a application you spray in the whole van. Um, there's spray-in foam, which yeah. some self-builders do. We find the rock wool cozy wrap solution is the best for us and our customers. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. 
All right, so we've got the new seats in here. So. Yeah, but these are way better than ours. What's going on? <laughs> well, we've, um, we, we, last year, we changed the seat pattern, the stitch pattern of the recover, and then we added the Q-foam in there, and then we went with a little bit different, um, less uh, slippery vinyl, if okay. you could. Okay. Got a little tack to it. Not too much, so it's uncomfortable with your jeans, but oh, yeah. No. Well, we it love our seats. Very good. It yep. feels very good. Yep. I'm already like a cuddling it for like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Okay, we're going to pause the factory tour at this point and jump into the Q&A. No worries. We'll get right back to that full factory tour all the way to the product being put out the door but for now we wanted to get a quick update on how things were going for 2023 in the RV industry with Coachman, the lead times, pricing, all kinds of great information that you guys will be interested in so you definitely want to watch this part. For sure the RV industry is huge, it's colossal, $140 billion industry which has grown about 23% since 2019. Obviously it would have grown even more without uh, obviously the interruptions that we had. But 73 of that billion is generated by RV manufacturers and suppliers like Coachman. 35.7 billion is produced by RV campgrounds related travel and service activities are over 30 billion dollars. So this is a huge industry and if you haven't seen the latest data it's pretty crazy things dropped off dramatically in Q4 and all RV sales were down uh, pretty substantially and then the forecast for next year is or this year I should say is a drop of 32% so they're looking for a 32% decline from about 493,000 wholesale shipments in 2022 but let's go ahead and get started with Nick uh, I'm going to start off with the simple question of you know what it takes him to get a product through their facility and then we'll continue on from there. So let's go ahead with that Q&A session now. So one of the questions I have is from the start of the process to the finish of the process, yep. how long does it take for the vehicle to make it all the way through the factory and out the door? Well, it does depend on what a van's equipped with yeah um, but a, a Ford a, a, a beyond you're looking at about seven days about seven seven days, days. seven days in and, and yep. it's out the door yep. and you've got a production and that's here. running boards wow, wheels being balanced we don't balance um, we don't do wheel installs here that's something else we're working on um, we do send those out that I call that throughput we do need to cut down a little bit on our throughput one cool thing that happened back in 20 Ford um, announced their own rim package okay. that improved things a lot for throughput. We didn't have to send it back out. So yeah, gallery is gonna take a couple more days. And then one other question, I mean, all of us have struggled with the supply chain over mm -hmm. the past two and a half years, right? So is the supply chain finally coming back together? Or it, are you still struggling with certain components? Because I remember talking to you in the 2021, 20, and that was your whole, you could build half a van yep. and all of a sudden you're missing one ten dollar part right? absolutely so absolutely. how is it today where are you guys at in 2023 well we got a collision course of sorts so we're coming out of 21 and 22 industry went like this um i was watching a youtube video last night and they're talking about how empty the ports in china are right and they're talking about all the containers, containers stacking up. so I you saw know that. you can I saw that yeah. so before covid yeah my wife and i wanted to build a container house yeah where you take all these containers i think it's 30,000 square i could be it's like 3,000 6,000 square feet or something like that and you stack them and weld them up and bam it's over well we called our builder the guy we were talking to and he's like uh and I knew this was coming. He's like, no, those are $30,000. <laughs> so what we're seeing right now is such demand, 21, 22, that's starting to fall back in 23. Yeah. There are a lot of price decreases going on. We are getting products um, much better than we had in the past. But now the suppliers, factories, and warehouses are full because the run rates are a little right. bit lower than in 21 and 22. Right. Um, Ford is still having some chip issues. Um, I'll stay out of that. Uh, Mercedes and Dodge. Dodge, we have had a couple little shortage issues um, with specs, but for the most part, we're through it. 
the thing that I'm waiting for is we've seen commodities go like this and um, I'm waiting for some of our commodities not to drop like it has for the Tobel guys, which a lot of them are shut down now. Yeah. And it's not just Coachman. Yeah. Um, and I'm not talking shut down for a year. Right, They're right. Three weeks on, just, one week off. Yeah, yeah. A couple weekends, you know, you got me. Yeah. So, um, yes, availability of product is much easier this year. Chassis are coming in good, but business is tailing off. Class B's is the only segment I've ever seen in the RV industry since I got into it. it it's been up 30, 30% every year, 30, right, 30% right. growth, which right. is it's crazy. Phenomenal. 2022, 20% growth. So yeah. we're going to start leveling off, and the shipments are going to start balancing out with the retails. Yeah. Uh, but we got great partners, dealer partners, and um, like I said, there's some guys struggling right now, but we are very unique in our build. I don't think anybody builds anything like us outside of custom. Right. We don't have the ABS walls that I was talking about. We don't have the shiny techno form, whatever cabinets. Everything's different and it makes sense and we got a really solid value story. So if you want different in the in a good way, added value, um, start buying more of our products. There you go. So a couple more questions yep. uh, because you know our audience, they always ask these two in the comments. Yep. So it's better to just knock it out in the video. But two things. One is price range on Nova, price range and beyond, price range in Galleria for 2023. And obviously you've got options, yep. but general price range, what you would expect to, to uh, pay for those three well, models. Well, number one, we don't pay MSRP <clears throat> anymore. Right. We should never have paid MSRP. Ever. And for everybody okay. new and yep. that's just looking, when you yep. see that MSRP, they get scared away. They run, right? Oh, They're yeah. like, what? 180, yep. 150. Yep. But you don't pay that. So yep. so for everybody at home watching this video, don't get scared away by that. Yep. And, and if you're used to buying MSRP, stop buying an MSRP, yeah. okay? Work yeah. them a little bit, okay? Yeah. Um, prices, you know, this, this last uh, in January, I wasn't too happy about this. Um, I had to pass on $8,500 price increases because of chassis increases. Right. And that is a true cost of ours that I cannot absorb. Um, so that that was tough. But right now, what I'm seeing um, in the field, Novas, 23 Novas are in that 115, 110 to 115 without lift and add 30 grand. Um, beyonds, beyonds are a little tougher because we don't have as many because right. of we're just starting to fill the coffers with with chassis inventory beyonds 120 ish um add about another 30 for lithium and then gallerias can be kind of all over the place but we're seeing them it shows at uh 170 180 right. and um you know it depends if it's a brand new 23 product and they only got one you know there's some um um there's some dealers that hold some bigger grosses on stuff that yeah, they don't have a lot of. The but again, right now, guys, it is a um, to future customers. Uh, it's a, it's it's swinging back into your favor. Um, you're going to see prices starting to come down at, at the retail level, and then fingers crossed. I told Dodge, Mercedes, and Ford. I said, if you guys think you can get this kind of money out of these chassis next year in 23. You're crazy, and my Dodge rep was sitting there going, "No, I completely follow yeah. you." So, yeah, um, hopefully we've peaked with all of that. Yep. So now with the supply chain under control, you're getting units. So if somebody out there wants to buy a Beyond today or a, a Nova, for example, they go to their dealership and they say, "Hey, I want to order one yep. with my color, with this yep. feature." Um, so what kind of lead time? We're in the May right now. You're in the May. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so that's not bad. We're middle of March. Weeks. Yep. So you're looking at eight to 10 weeks yep. and you're going to have your van. Yep. That's fantastic. Now, I mean, compared to two years now, ago. Now, as right? spring starts to build. Builds up. You're going to have then more. Everybody's going to be putting in more orders. Right. Um, you know, every, every year it's funny. Um, I said this in a GM meeting the other day, every year. Business is slow to start off the year. Yeah. Cold weather, nobody wants to get out and camp. Then there's three weeks of warm weather. Customers hang out with their family the first week, take care of their house the second warm week, and then go RV shopping the third right. full right. week. So right. we're gonna have that big um, <laughs> influx. The weather will start itching people. Um, so yeah. 
All right, so one last thing just for everybody back there. Uh, on the warranty side of it, still one-year warranty? Yeah, you and get the Nick Recchio one-year warranty. Okay. And um, you can read into that. <laughs> that. That's a good thing. We yeah. always take care of our customers. We always do what's right. But the good thing about our one-year warranty is we don't do much in here. Right. Okay? Like, I mean, we do a lot, but it's a yeah. lot of installs. Three years. Yeah. Two years. Three years, two years. Two years. And then and you have the chassis, which is the covered chassis. by their warranty, yep. right? So, and then, but one which thing, is obviously longer. Yep. And, but yeah. one thing we don't do. Now, it would be very frustrating within a one-year warranty if you called Paul and Paul said, yes, Tom, um, you call Truma. Right. And you, no, we facilitate that. Pro, you know, we don't right. need to do that. We It's just the right thing to do. It's, it's a good thing to do during the customer service you know, we'll handle all the contacts a lot of other guys just go yeah call call Lippert call this company call the and you're on your own well that's who wants who has time for that anymore yeah um, so I'm very proud of our, our warranty um, you know all of our customers are important we are um, known to do some favors and um, not ask for anything in return it's just you know to and, and one of the nice things is you know if within that warranty period if you do have an issue, you're not just restricted to the dealership. You can come right here, yep. right? Yep. In, in Northern Indiana to visit you guys. You have the campground yep. free of charge yep. up to, uh, and that's got electric and everything else. Yep. But then you've got the, the guest center where we were today, which was yep. fantastic. And uh, you guys can do the work right yep. here, which is a big plus, right? Because these are the experts. These yep. are the guys that do all the work. Yep. They know the van inside now. Well, the service department is, and people will hear me, and I hope my guys on the production line don't hear me, but I think it's <laughs> one of the most important aspects of our plant because we are taking a look at 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 vans today. Yeah. We can see mistakes we made. Um, we can, it's a really good information flow. The plant and the service shop talk in unison. Yeah. They protect each other. Um, and heck, we did a, a 120, we serviced 120 vans last year um, in 2022. That's quite an accomplishment. And, you know, we got great people back here. Um, we've got people that don't turn over back here. That service shop's solid. Um, I know you got to drive here. But having peace of mind that it's done by us and Jeff and Jake, um, it's yeah, it's, no it's a big about. it's a big um, a big opportunity to solve some problems. And we're centrally located for the most part. Um, people coming east to west can drop in on us really easy. Yeah, that's so, awesome. Make an appointment in the service department. We'll help you out in twenty three. All right, let's keep going. This yep. is pretty awesome. Thanks, Nick. Hey, no Appreciate problem. it. Thank you guys. Leche and I want to thank Nick and the entire uh, Coachman Class B group uh, for hosting us uh, there in Middlebury. And uh, we had a great time, really enjoyed the town. And one of the things that Nick highlighted was, you know, to bring the vans in or bring your RV in to have it serviced during the warranty period. And I have to tell you, they have uh, really done exactly that. They've really made it easy for you in a Class B to come in or any other size. They have their own campground, free of charge, full electric hookup, and a really nice setup. And you're going to get to see that in a second with the Leche. And they also have a little guest center where you have Wi-Fi, coffee, all that good stuff while you're waiting for it to be fixed. But the town of Middlebury is a really nice little town, great people, friendly, and the whole Coachman team are a class act. But let's take a look at the campground and then we'll jump back into that tour of the facility. They also have a campground here. So when you come to the factory, mm -hmm. Today we're doing some videos with Nick, and uh, who's the general manager of the Class B Coachman uh, Camper Van uh, Division. But if you come and visit, they've got a little campground. You can hang out here for up to a week. Uh, out more than a week, you need permission. But they've got picnic tables, electricity, water, everything yeah. you need. Pretty sweet, huh? Absolutely. You can come in very easily. Just connect to the electricity if you need it. And you have a free space, uh, and it's also nice because there is a lot of space. Also, if you have dogs like us, 
for them to browse around and uh, and play a little bit. Yeah, and so it's very conveniently located close to the factory. So yeah, you can see right now it's empty. That's because as you look over there, you'll see there's snow. Last night we got down to 21 <laughs> degrees, yep. but the uh, coachman did great on the propane and uh, we snuggled up and had a great time. So let's go check out Nick and uh, so everyone back home, uh, you're going to love this video. So get ready. We're getting started with Coachman. Woo, let's do this. That's right, folks. It was 21 degrees, and it was pretty cold even during the tour as a lot of that factory is pretty opened up uh, to the outside. Snow on the ground, but uh, we did it. Had a great time, and the guest center was really nice also. We got to meet some friendly people there and had a lot of fun while we were waiting for our Class uh, B to get fixed. All right, folks. Here we are at the Coachman Customer Service Lounge, and like always, Leachie's got a couple of friends here, Absolutely. and they have fallen in love with Rocky and Gypsy. Oh, and... I lost the dogs, but they found the new parents. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we that's have awesome. Adopted family. There yeah. you go. <laughs> awesome guys. Hey, so let's go ahead and get started with the tour again, and you're gonna really love this. We've got some great shots of not only uh, the rest of this factory, but also we're gonna show you some four wheeling with the all wheel drive beyond. We've had it over two years now. It's been an absolutely awesome class B RV. And uh, you know, we just love it. it. All the experiences and travel are priceless. So when you think of these things as being expensive, realize that you're gonna get a lot of great memories. Let's get started. And this is the whole new front end of the new yep. Pro-Mat. Boy, did they do a nice job, yeah. huh? Yep. So it went from not so attractive to, this is much more attractive. They've really dressed that up. We actually did a, a video showing the difference in the two. But they've done a nice job, and we definitely, Alice, tell everyone to check out that brand new 2000, oh, yeah. right yeah. there, 2023 uh, Nova video we did on Coachman. It was pretty awesome. But what do we got here, Nick? So it looks like we're starting to build a 20C, and everybody might look at this and go, oh my goodness, what is this? So this is actually the mount for the sofa to pass the pull test and to give you maximum storage. Some days we do overbuild stuff, but I do know it will last, okay? A couple other items inside here. We've made some cuts on the outside. This looks like a, this will probably be a 110 shore outlet, probably Truma where the wood uh, square is. Yep. But we've, you can see we've treated it with uh, anti-corrosion. Uh, Lino is down now. Windows, window openings have been cut in. Looks like we got some solar leads dropping down. We've installed our aluminum um, uh, fantastic fan and AC um, substructures yep. just to make sure that it bites in. Some guys use wood still in those areas. I don't really like that, but um, so yep, coming along, All coming right. along. Looks good. Oh, yeah, one more thing one here. One more thing. We got about seventy-five dollars wrapped up in each wheel well, and that's hush mat. That's a for you automotive guys. You'll know what I'm talking about. Some guys just put a strip of it over the wheel well. Some guys don't put anything over the wheel well. Some guys will take carpet, flip it upside down, spray the wheel well, and call it a day. But what I like about this yeah. is you're typically gonna be sitting over this. That's quiet. That's yeah. not yeah. reverbing like what you would hear when other guys don't pay attention to that. Right. Even if you're sleeping, right? Oh, I mean, anything. the bed is in yep. the bed, anything. you will not hear the sound too much. Shower staging. So we've got um, wow. a couple, that's a 24A, um, 22 C and D shower. We're working on some shower ideas. Um, there's a cross, a uh, beyond shower. Now we got some more stuff happening here. We've got wire harnesses dropping down. Um, we've got our first wall panel, our window garnish panels up. These new windows, we're switching to a new window. So the Nova windows before, the bulb was, there was a flat here and the bulb was here. Okay, so you had a little um, protrusion. So what we did here, now 
now the bubble is inside. Okay. Oh, okay. The bubble's inside. We get a little bit more flush look, but they're tinted. They're heavily tinted. Before wow. they were just acrylic. I it's, honestly like this. Yep. It's a just, fantastic it, idea. Yes. It looks way more yep. like a high design. Yep. And it, we debuted yeah. Nova in 2019. We had a lot of opportunities to engage with Travato customers. Yeah. Just trying to get them into a Ford Transit at the time. Yeah. And, um, you know, we said, what are the top five things? We don't build a Dodge product. What are the five things you want to see? Better insulation, acrylic windows, and a couple other items that we address. But, yeah, sharp. It really looks good against the white chassis. I like it. Yeah, I just had a email inquiry from the public and it's this gentleman just read me the riot act <laughs> so i hear that you bought a like a thousand dodge silver chassis at a deal i was like you know what if there were a thousand dodge chassis that i could find in silver for a deal i'd have already bought them <laughs> and i was like you know what are you talking about he goes can't you offer anything besides silver I was like, well you know a lot of our customers um, you know, we got some, some competitors that are doing very bright colors. I see a lot of our customers just want to slide on through and get in and out of town and not be noticed. That stealth, yeah. right? Yeah. So um, <laughs> silver and white. We got white now. Well, the other, the other big advantage there that, to my surprise, I didn't realize until after we bought our Class B, we actually got a white one. Yeah. And back then, there wasn't so many whites in 2020. Uh, and we actually fell in love with our white because it reflects the heat. And when we were at the big rally, I always, when I started off on this search, we were looking for like a cool black looking yep. Yep. Mercedes yep. kind of, you know, you know, that kind of, that kind of look. And, um, uh, to my surprise, when we did down in the Florida heat, when you measure the heat on a black unit or a dark gray versus a white, it is incredibly different, right? So I've got a little barbecue grill laser gun that we use for all kinds of stuff. And, and when we go out, typically July, August is a good time to test around here. Yeah. We're talking about 115, 110 to 115 for anything white. Just going to a little darker silver, I would call this dark silver, we're into 125. Right. Wow. When we go into like Dean's old metallic. Right. Um, is that magnetic? Yeah, it's I think like, it was magnetic, and I, 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 uh, we used to build on quite a few black Sprinter chassis. A black Sprinter chassis is about 155. Yeah, wow, just you have inside. Wow, 40 degrees yeah. difference. And that's huge. Yeah. Now, think about trying to keep that van cool no, when yeah. you're in the heat, right? We're always fighting the automotive windows. Not so much on the Nova, but on the glass windows, the OEM windows like Ford and Mercedes, which everybody wants that view. Um, it's tough to fight those windows. We're working on a solution, should have something yeah. here not too long. This looks like it's gonna be a rear bath, we're in a beyond. Again, I was talking about how we pack this van full of rock wool. So, very well insulated. Again, more wire harness drops coming down. We got some stanchions um, in between our, our trusses, OEM trusses. Um, like I said, I think we overbuild it, but I'm okay with that. Up front, one of the uh, we're working on some surveys right now through Dean and just some feedback coming out of Tampa, Ocala, and just general beginning of the year feedback. A lot of you wanted to see us do a better job or, or um, question the job we were doing above the headliner. There you can see cozy wrap, and then we can't rock wool the center, um, but it is insulated up there. And, and thank you for the feedback. But again, insulation's a, a huge, huge deal. Very clean, guys, you know, we got 44 of the best men and women in Elkhart County that work here. All of them, some of, a lot of them started here. I think we're through our fifth five-year employee and I buy them a steak dinner and sit down with them and talk to them. And That's you cool. know, turnover is not good with a company because depending on how long that person's been there and the knowledge that they've been trained and the knowledge that they retain, yeah. their leadership, if we let them go, we're taking a step back. So we have very limited turnover. We also got a guy that's doing a 10 year anniversary. So I'm really proud of, of that. Not just the product, not just the customers, but, but what we've created here is a little bit different than everything else in the RV industry. Yeah, it creates also like yep. a nice relationship between oh, yeah. everyone. You got a and tight family. family. Yep. Yes, yep. a family feeling, yep. yeah. 
So Ford Transit, it's been, you know, just a great chassis for us. And you're getting more of the Fords now. Yeah. It's not as yep. limited as it was so before, last right? So I could maybe max out at 40 a month. Um, I really asked Ford for some help. And um, Ford's going to be giving us uh, about 60 a month right now. Okay. Yep. Fantastic. Yep. And they did a nice job with... You know, look at the, the larger screen now oh, up yeah. front. Uh, Great chassis. Boy, it looks really good. So The only thing about this chassis that's bad is it handles too well. It yeah. It go too fast. Well, we love it. We've got the dualies. We've got the all-wheel drive. Yep. you got the horsepower in the Ford chassis. Yep. So, so many advantages to it. And you can service it at all the Ford dealers, and there's nothing crazy going on. There, so we've been super, super happy with the Ford product. You, you touched on something, and, and I'm going to go back to something else. Is when we were talking to the Travato customers um, before we built Nova, is they kept on asking me, "What is your opinion on the dual rear wheels?" And I said, "Look, if I'm if I'm in a Class B, uh, ten feet high, almost a box, a plywood box going down the road." I don't think the way they did it's great. It's not extending out like a, a pickup truck that you'd knock over a McDonald's drive through. Right, right. Uh, microphone. Yeah. It's done very well, but that's extra confidence. That's extra load. That's extra braking. Yeah. That's extra acceleration. I, I just, you know, one of the common questions were, are rocks going to get stuck in between my tires? Right. Well, I hope a rock or two gets. That means you're having fun. Yeah. Let's get those out there. We got the all-wheel drive chassis. It started yeah. rear-wheel drive, and that was still a good chassis, but we're all-wheel drive now. But great yeah. chassis. You can get you back uh, to where you want to go respectfully uh, without damaging the product. But the all-wheel drive is peace of mind. So, Alice, show everybody yeah. that Florida Jungle I Trail do. video. Yeah. We we told this to Dean we were going to do it. He, Dean heads up the Facebook yeah. group for all of these coachmen, uh, class B's. And uh, we actually took the jungle trail in Florida with the beyond oh, wow. in the all wheel drive through the mud, through the, uh, really? yeah, and it, we had, a, it was our mini version of four wheeling. Wasn't crazy, no. but it's not what you would do with a normal camper right. van, right? right? Yeah, and it, there is more, do you remember when we went to the Huguenog campground, yeah. the state park in Florida, and we went with our uh, beyond on the beach, and because of the four wheel, the, the double dude in the back, we felt extremely comfort, comfortable, yep. and uh, he handled it perfectly. Check this out, everyone. You're gonna love it down in Florida on the beach. Felice on how to have fun outdoors is taking the Beyond Coachman out on the beach. Believe it or not, I think this is the first time I've seen a camper van come out here on the beach, a brand new Coachman Beyond. Four wheel drive vehicles recommended. There is the sign, folks. Take a look and Aliche is gonna drive right by it. Yeah, that you're I absolutely right because we went out there and it was a soft <laughs> sand and it, I wouldn't have done it without the dualies and all-wheel yeah. drive. Yep. In so, fact, if you didn't have the all-wheel drive, it you, you you should never be out on the beach no, like that with the camper van. Yeah, and you have to realize that you need to uh, be comfortable. Yeah. And, and they've done a and they've done a nice job here with the new headlights and also matching up the paint here on the bottom. That was uh, something we didn't know. I'm a big fan of some. Simplicity. I, yeah. I would have rather kept black there. Yeah. But um, I think it really ties in. One reason why we did go to it, I, yeah. don't, I don't paint this locally. This is Ford OEM. Right. We'll touch on on the Mercedes. They don't offer that to me painted yet, so I've got to sub that out. Okay. Um, I don't want to sub that out to a local guy who's painting right. Class A's. It's different. Right. So what we do on Mercedes when we paint this this and this which we don't on beyond we don't on nova but when we do it on mercedes um actually send it to a mercedes car dealership okay and they plug it in their system so if you or you are out in the field anywhere you can just call up your mercedes dealership and they can do it right there paint code it's all in the mercedes system that's awesome and that's cutting down headaches for the customer right okay? if we can cut a step out just like the windows that we were talking about before we got in here what I'm talking about is we found that we don't really like the third uh, D3 and P3 on the Ford. So as some of you know, we have Glass Doctor come out here. They take the window out, install an AM Auto window with a slider that's been really um, maintenance-free, warranty-free. 
Loving this factory tour? You're definitely going to want to check out our brand new Nova and Galleria, both 2023 models from Coachman, and you're going to love those. Also, check out our sister channel, How to Have Fun Cruising. That's right. We do all kinds of cruise ship reviews. Even if you don't like cruising, that's okay. We check out all the different islands in Europe, USA, Caribbean, you name it, and you're going to definitely love that for vacation ideas, even if you want to fly down and get a hotel. But let's go ahead and get back to this plant tour. Really awesome. You're going to get to see all all the new stuff and finish this out with the leche and nick let's go all right let's look at this next one pretty cool you got the whole yes now, shower in there huh? what's unique about this is this isn't a dodge chassis we're the first ones that i know of um a couple years back that we had a lot of Travato owners saying look we love the rear bath but we're not thrilled with our, um, our options on chassis so we did a rear bath in the ford and a couple things that we've done new with this shower mold is we've mitered or um, produced a lip so water gets back in the tub, the surround. And then this is our new flip down shower, or flip, pardon me, flip down shower. Flip, flip down, down sink. sink. Yeah. Really good drainage, a little bit bigger. It is from Europe. Um, and what do we like about this? The draining. Um, and I'm, after Ocala Rally and after Tampa, we had quite a few gals tell me, why don't you just take a look at doing a flip down sink in all your showers? So that's something we're sniffing around. Yeah. If you guys recall, there's a flip down sink next to my, your seat in my truck. Um, we're, 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 we're taking a look at it, but it makes sense. I'm getting bigger this way, and this is typically non-rear bath. This is typically how I'm showering, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not that we're growing this way so much, if I, we can pick up a couple more inches of usability, a bigger basin, a sink basin, we might be on to something. So we're sniffing around that. Yeah, that's really nice, that yep. flip down, for sure. Yep. And then we, um, you'll see in the field, we've improved our medicine cabinet on our rear baths, both Ford and Dodge. I hope you like it. Uh, a little bit more functional toothpaste or toothbrush holders, two mirrors that fold this way versus up. So a couple little improvements. Yeah, that's awesome. Yep can expand without breaking. Um, got some rough plumbing coming in. Got the Truma installed. Don't have the Truma AC yet, but we got the combi unit installed here. Water pumps placed. Again, we'll have the, the benches or the dinettes or the beds of the rear bath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool all this yep. is staged up before even the cabinetry comes in. It's so cool, honestly. Yep. And then we had a customer send me in a floor plan the other day and they want to see so one the biggest complaint about rear baths is the little tiny fridge yeah and they want to see us move the refrigerator over here so we're making some making some making adjustments some time to take a look to see if we can fit everything that's important to customers and us in there yeah, it's yeah. kind of cool because if you haven't seen, definitely check out from our Ocala rally all the modifications. Yeah. I just watched that and, the other day. Yeah, it's yep. it's crazy. It's a four part series, yep. and like Russ, who's one of our uh, ultimate innovative heroes, I call him Doctor Jekyll. Doctor Jekyll. <laughs> so I love he actually Russ. moved. Uh, you got to watch the video, but it is incredible he what had a he's done. Five gallon standing uh, yeah. water tank in front of or at the at the beginning of his galley it didn't look that bad at all yeah if he can fill it there because he wanted access to lift his sofa for e-bike storage so he moved the fresh water tank out exactly we saw you know at the, at that ocala show ton of mods this last ocala show ton of mods i appreciate it the only thing about mods and i'm not don't take this negative anybody <laughs> is just like everybody sits lays in a bed yeah not every bed's for everybody so oh, yeah. we try to vet the mods as, as much as possible dean has got a survey going out right now um appreciate the feedback the ownership we're not gonna be able to do all of them we're gonna take a big chunk of them because our model change switched back in the day I used to do fifth wheels we had to be on top of what every other competitor was doing we're taking a little switch and this I could get fired for this someday. All I want to do is listen to my customers. They're in the vans more. They're creating the environment. Um, they're making the friendships. They're influencing their peers to buy our products. So why don't we just listen to the people yeah. who got us here? 
Now, granted, if somebody comes out with something earth shattering, we'll have to take a look at it. I'm not gonna be that proud, but I think I think sometimes we overcomplicate some things. So, well, I know I know for Alicia and I, we looked at a lot of vans before we purchased our van, and for us, especially in this day and age, it comes down to service, right, yep. and quality. Yep. And if you've got good customer service, you know that makes a huge difference. And when we were looking at all the different vans. The reputation of Coachman was excellent. I think since you've, you know, close your ears, but since you've been in charge of this on the general management side, you have a lot of respect by all the owners. You show up at the rallies, you go to the shows, you talk to all of us, yep. and that makes a huge difference. You feel a lot more confident with the product, knowing that Coachman's behind it and standing behind you. And, and, and that is and not that's huge. And you don't find that with the other ones. And that's necessarily not, not necessarily my job. Yeah. Um, I don't like my picture taken. I don't like videos being taken of me. My mom, we went, we took her on a vacation not too long ago. My daughter goes, Hey Grammy, you want to take a look at some YouTube videos of daddy? My mom's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so she finishes her beer. Libby brings over the little tablet. And my mom's sitting there laughing. She goes, you know, you used to skip school on picture day. Yeah. I try to go through. You know, you want to know why I know where every picture of you is? Because we don't have many. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, they had a, their first house was a little ranch. And I stayed in the fireplace and commandeered the fireplace. And that was my toy box. So yeah. I'm, I'm, but... I am proud to do this for the customers. It's it's all of our last names are attached to this product in this county. Yeah. We're yeah. a very proud county. We got a lot of Amish gentlemen that are very proud to work here. Yeah. Um, I just want to do it a little bit different. I've been in the industry since I've been a teenager. It there's no blueprint for this. Yeah. There's there's there are successful blueprints, and we're we're following those. But we like I say all the time, and it's this: we're a uh, uh, customer service division that just so happens to build class b's now that's one thing to say if you build subpar product every day but i think we've got the highest the most thought out some of the highest end products cabinetry etc some of the things we're going to be talking about today in the in the b van industry yet i don't think we charge what the other guys charge yeah because i think the other guys you know, you got all these 144 adventure vans out there that cost 200 some thousand dollars. Well, they're 19 feet. They got plastic walls. There's nothing in them except a power bed, a, uh, some lights, a roof rack, some solar, and a lithium system. There's really no storage. There's really outside of the bike storage, but they're charging the same as a Galleria. Yeah. Well, Galleria is three foot bigger, and it's got all this wood custom stuff in there. So, um, you know, I think I think we're I think we follow the coachman tradition of being uh, the best value in the business. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no question. And, and we uh, can testify. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we look, can testify by the, going back, we will choose these van over and over again. Yeah. We had to learn a little bit too. We built vans way back in the day at Coachman in the 70s and 80s. This plant started back up in 2015, not building um, conversion vans, but B vans. We had to learn a little bit about customer expectations. Um, in that what what were they buying this for typically we build fifth fifth wheels every day and yeah we take our fifth wheel to koa for a week and we have a great time with our kid that's important too but the coolest thing i hear and i heard it last week in ocala and this guy tracks me down every tampa show he comes up to me and goes remember you sold me my van a couple years ago how you doing and um <laughs> he goes you know to this day i never dreamt i would ever be in a in a b van let alone yours or anything. He goes, it's changed my life. Um, and he was an executive guy. I, I wouldn't expect him to have this banter with me out in the open. I'm like, well, what changed? He goes, well, Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have Florida State Beach Day, where we have a date on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Every Tuesday and Thursday, we pick a state park. We've got them all planned out for the month. And a great state to do it in, in Florida. And then they go on the weekends to a longer trip. And they say it changed their lives. So if we're building a product to change your life, let's keep that positivity going and be there for customer service, go above and beyond the stuff that Paul, you know, I get accolades. It needs to go to John who builds these and manages the team. Paul, who is our customer service, the fate, you know, he is doing things that he doesn't need to do. He was down at the Ocala rally. He was at the Tampa show. I don't know many customer service managers that are brave enough or confident enough to make that trip down there. And he had a blast. Customers were so great. 
we got some of the greatest customers. Um, so and we got to hang out with Paul too, so yeah. it was great. Paul's, and uh, and Paul's, Kay, Kaler was there too. Yeah, so Paul's he's my superhero. Tommy's my superhero. Yeah, Christy some, is my superhero. Some great guys so. for sure. Yeah. Well, thank you, everyone. Uh, we have a, a huge list of names, yep. so yep. we yeah. want to say thanks to the whole team. Yep, we just sure. we ran into Miranda walking yep. in. Miranda's a hire that's been within a month. Absolute, just a blessing to work yep. with. Christy, our purchasing agent. She had no reason coming to us. She came to us and she's grown into an absolute superstar. So I can go on and on and on. It's just see, it's great seeing people just growing over the years, just kind of like kids, you know? Yeah. And, and you not, feel it here. I mean, you, you definitely get that culture, that family feel. Yeah. And it's just the right size with that amount of employees, the size plant. It's yep. it's a it's a good team, and uh, you guys have done a great job for sure. Well, we appreciate it. Fine. All right, guys. All right, Alicia and Tommy. Now, this rarely a lot of people get to see the backsides or the innards of our cabinets before they get assembled and they're just opening drawers. So, you, a lot of you have heard me about this, but very proud. Typical RV cabinetry would not have um, interior stock like this. They would have much thinner Luan on the outside. These drawer guides you can see are very high end. This is all furniture grade. This, there's no paper. This is all residential paint. Here, I'll grab a drawer for you. There's been quite a few people that have tried and are trying to emulate this, but um, this, this is very important back here. Yeah, that's Winnebago, awesome. you can tell they're like jamming. They're not doing as good a job as. Yeah, it's feel how smooth that yeah, is yeah, too. Yeah, they are doing an craftsmanship. Awesome job. And you can tell other brands are like jamming the yeah. English dovetail. I can together. tell that my dad would be so proud. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and and if you're, you know, if we're gonna sit here and build a van, uh, and like Dean C with his Savas's situation, Dean's hundred and seventy thousand miles. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear anything from the cabinets. Yeah. And so if we spend a couple bucks extra on cabinets, I am completely fine because they're done right. Here's the composite. Yep. Um, it doesn't have the, the reflective on it, but if there's ever a water leak or anything, this isn't going to mold, rot, or spread anything. That's a composite. That's very good. Yeah, yeah good quality too. Yeah. And, and these are all Amish made, made locally, yeah, right? right? I mean, so this is all, you know, and so many times we've had, People in our class B tell them, Aliche, that are like, wow, the cabinets in this are completely different than a class A, class oh. uh, C. I mean, there's just a huge difference. And even when we were at the COA rally, if you haven't seen that video, oh, yeah. check it out here. definitely check it out. But we actually had one of the coachman employees, we convinced or her husband, uh, she, we talked her to going into the class B and when she came out, she's like, yeah, it's great. They're small. I'm not used to that. I'm used to class C's. But what really blows my mind is these cabinets. Yeah. Like, how come we don't have these in the class C's and the class A's? Yeah. Yep. And she just couldn't stop talking about it, remember? Uh, yes, and it blows my mind also. Like, wow, yeah. what a difference. Yeah, I mean, everything we've looked at, there's nothing that matches up to this. Yep. And when we had the COA rally, too, which is great. We highly encourage people to go to that rally, which is the formal coachman rally. And you'll get to see all the different RVs from all the different divisions, but they do all kinds of these really nice excursions where you get to go to all the different local things, right? So we went to an Amish clock factory and a furniture place, and we got to go to some museums and did a lot of fun stuff. But that was rememberable because Aliche was able to go visit some of the Amish that do some of this work, and she went out back. Her father has two companies back in Italy, and uh, one is in the furniture business, and the other is the distribution of furniture. But when she walked out back, she recognized that even though it was Amish made, and obviously they do an amazing job, it was all Italian machinery. Yep. And Alice's like, what's going on? You guys are using Italian stuff. Yep. And he goes, they make the best woodworking, uh, you know, machinery in the world. That's why we have Italian. So, but great job with this cabinetry, well, you know, amazing. What's, what's funny is most GMs, most people uh, would apologize for subbing this out. We're RV. Upfitters, Class B Upfitters, 
I'm gonna leave the job to the professionals and Cal and his team over at Heritage do a phenomenal job. Yeah. And again, I don't wanna, uh, my wife asked me why I like fish and I say, you know, the fish just don't talk back some days, honey. <laughs> so I don't want the cabinets, I don't want the cabinets talking back to the owner. So the, the more robust we can build them, the more like home we can build them, the longer they're gonna last. Yeah, and we've had zero issues in over two zero years. Yeah. Zero yeah. issues. No, like you, you can drive in the more like a crazy road yep. and you don't hear anything in the back. Yep. The only thing, something. here's a good feedback for you but that we have noticed. The only thing that we've had an issue with is the bathroom doors yep. chattering. Yep. And what we're seeing now, and you guys can add this, is they're putting a lock up at the top yep. and it's actually like a little padlock yep. where it's locking it down like a bathroom lock. At the rally, I saw some yeah. guys putting some um, uh, like gasket yeah. material up, yep. up and I saw some luggage door locks. So yeah. And, and luggage door lock, yeah. it can be a smart door. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So it's all kinds of cool. Because those are such big doors, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So you're going to get that rattle yep. in there. But yep. all right. Yep. Well, yep. But on that noise part, yeah, a class B should be quality built. I mean, you shouldn't even show up to work if you you're not yeah. gonna build it right. But number two is that class B's got to be quiet. Yeah. And we're gonna talk about some of the reasons why our class B's quiet outside of the cabinetry here yeah. in a, here in a second. One of the things that uh, people need to realize when you take a big uh, camper, it can be a fifth wheeler or like a class A. Usually, like uh, you drive less and you stay Very put yep. more. Yep. With a class B, you are on the go the whole time. Yep. You may spend maybe two nights in the same spot sometime, but uh, you are uh, adventurous. You yep. are traveling every time. So the quality of the furniture obviously makes the difference. Yep. Yeah, because you're going, I mean, that thing is rattling all the time on the road. You're beating up a class B. Yeah unlike the fifth wheelers and the other ones Absolutely. and that's a really good point you know yeah. a typical a typical fifth wheel customer will go somewhere for two weeks whether it's the most beautiful landscape or mountain vista or yeah. river bend or whatever but class b's about two days we gotta go we got something else to see let's go yeah. let's go and you go in more like yep. uh, off, uh, adventure off. Yep. off the road yep. uh roads so yeah. you need to be ready for that yep. yeah all right good yeah. let's point. keep going here it's pretty awesome great Great tour, Nick. Thanks we, for your time, too. We really appreciate it. everything in here. And it was just in and out, in and out, in and out. So <laughs> yeah. You can plant seven was really nice. That makes a big difference. Oh, you have way yeah. more space right. now. So let's right. creep up here a little bit. All right, we got another one here. Let's take a look at what we got on this one. So, Alicia, now you can see the windows are a little yeah. bit smaller once we put the yeah. um, wall layering up. And we got to do that to close the distance around the windows. This is a cherry interior. I don't know what I think about Cherry, but to each their own, more options, yep. better better opportunity for the customer. 30 gallon fresh. Very cool. It mounted inside, not outside. Yep, so you stay warm yep. and you don't have problem on a camping in winter yep. time yep. at 21 Fahrenheit. <laughs> Which we do a lot of. So, yeah. you know, we love to ski and we love to winter camp and use it all year long. So, and there's a, pretty cool shot too before the doors go on yeah and that's 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 pretty neat also and depending on when this gets released yeah this is something that we've been asked a lot about um, on the back of the beyond that's some personal space and we've never wanted to really touch into that because everybody's got from Russ to Dean to Rhonda to uh, you guys to um, Gardner I can name all the beyond everybody's got what they want back there so yeah. we're gonna we're coming up with some ideas okay and um we might do a, a, a optional full yeah um pull out like we were just messing around with in the cab uh oh, like the 20c oh yeah um or we might do something else we don't know guys are sniffing around and getting pretty curious i think he's that. got some ideas alicia what i know is that uh, i'm gonna probably be in touch with nick yep. with some additional idea from myself so, <laughs> all good well alicia now has seen uh class b's all over the world we've got videos with french german and we actually went to a class B 
small manufacturer. They're just starting in India. Oh, wow. And uh, it is, it's amazing. That's so cool. yeah. we got a little bit of footage on that. We still got to make the video, but uh, I, we hunted them down in Delhi. Oh. And uh, wow, it's fun to watch. Because, cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm um, trying to get over to Germany yeah. for the caravan yeah. show, but I've been watching a ton of videos. I'm half German, and I think I know almost more German now than Italian. Yeah. And the other half. Yeah. I, Italian, I don't know so. if I can forgive you for that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so here's a really cool area that, that gets passed over. And um, some manufacturers would take their knife and cut that. Yeah. And not put a return and take the minute to put adhesive down or all these staples. So what are you talking about, Nick? Okay, when, when this edge in our build meets up obviously these aren't going to be meeting up they're the same parts but you've got three eighths inch of foam touching three eighths inch of foam and it's not two rigid um hard substrates that are going to squeak okay also anytime you can add foam you're adding insulation yeah okay even if it's three eighths it's still trapped air what's different about this well you're going to see airstream do the velour well, actually, I think Airstream's now switched to plastic walls. You're going to see Winnebago with plastic walls. You're going to see Thor with plastic walls. Kind of cold, kind of loud, and there's really no custom touch to it. So this is how we're going to build our vans as yeah. long as I'm here. And that's so nice, too. Sense. It's this so is nice. High dent this is um, marine-grade PVC. It will never rot, mold, deteriorate. If, let's say, if Rocky gets a little nervous um, and starts nibbling on the corner or something that has vinyl, let's say Rocky had a bad day, and you live near a airport, a commercial airport, they've got vinyl people that can come out, repair this like you never even knew anything happened. So very warm, insulative, quiet, and it gives you more of that custom feel. And uh I can tell you it's easy to clean. Yep. Absolutely yep. no problem on cleaning. Uh, even if there is a mosquito and it happened to me and I smashed it on it, and then <laughs> I just yep. had to take a little uh, dump and uh, just clean it up and it was very easy. Good point. For you folks asking questions um, when we were around the seating area, um, on the new seat material, 409 and a clean microfiber cloth just regular old 409 like back when i was a little kid don't nothing new, not, not the new stuff yeah okay regular old 409 with the purple nozzle and the purple yeah and then blot don't rub because you're going to spread it so clean yeah. microfiber blot and that is enough yep that's a great thing yep. Yep. So let's just go back here we got some dinettes getting uh ready to be put in tomorrow and then this is where we started installing Truma Aventas and our premier products, 12-volt uh, ACs. You can see a stack of Trumas getting ready to be put on. Yep. And we hook them up to the hoist, bring them over, drop them down, and the guys go to work. So now we, we were just four vans ago, we were in an empty van. Yeah. Right. And building seven. So now we got water tank, partition, uh, firefly wiring, Showers installed, shower surrounds installed, base cabinets installed, walls are installed. Yep. Just around that corner it starts turning into a van. That I can is... tell you that this looks very familiar. To me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this looks like a 22C right here. Yeah, it's yes, absolutely yeah. a 22C. We're yeah. working very yeah. hard in, in improving the continuity of our electrical. And we do buy some parts and pieces. I don't make the inverters, but that's not an excuse. We can get some better best practices. So really have turned up the electrical testing before we ship. Um, it seems like that is the number one complaint because unfortunately some of our dealers don't know how to work on our electrical because it is different than some other people, but uh, we're, we're doing a much better job handling it at the plant. We were able to bring in some more people. And that's one of the cool things that happens back in that service bay. Yeah, I got my best friend's kid is back there, mm -hmm. and I'm, he's my boy now. <laughs> and, uh, he is PDIing every unit we build, wow, and awesome. we tell him what to look for. It's the top hits of something that 
you know, we get people flying into dealerships uh, and buying a van and, and taking it. Yeah. While I think that well, it's a compliment, I think that's a crazy idea um, <laughs> because anything can happen in life, right? Yeah. I'm not saying stop doing it. We're making some adjustments back here, um, some checks and balances to make sure we can do that because that's just, I'm not going to change that. I'm not right. going to change that. We need to change some things internally here. And, and my old boss always said, don't point the finger at anybody else because you got a couple pointed back at you. <laughs> so what could we do here to help our customers making that decision? Absolutely. So and yeah. it's, been a, it's been a big um, a big plus. And there's so much going on now with, you know, lithium batteries mm -hmm. and all the different yeah. options and every option that you have requires something a little bit different. And uh, so the more you guys can, you know, build that up, the I think the better it's going to be going long term because you know how this is going to play out. People are going to want more and more capacity, oh, yeah. more and more, yep. you know, I want to run the air conditioner for two days on yeah, lithium, right? We're starting to get that a lot. Right. More. And, yeah. you know, obviously with computers and now you've got, we just got Starlink yeah, that you, you can bring with you. Yeah. yeah. Not on the van, the portable okay. one. We did the portable so, yeah. just so we have yeah. more yeah. options. Yeah. and yeah. 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 So yeah. we just got that. So it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. But we work in the mm -hmm. van yep. is extremely yep. important We're hearing to more and more of that. Um, it seems like within a year, the Wi-Fi Ranger extender just isn't serving the connectivity needs of, of everybody. Yeah, and I think the thing that you, you really have to look at it now because the, we also have our sister channel, How to Have Fun cruising right and uh, that's become a big popular we still do cruise videos yeah. on how to have fun outdoors but we do a whole dedicated channel now to that and we've actually been on these cruise ships we do five or six cruises a year and what we're seeing is all the major brands now switching to the starlink system oh, gotcha. and uh, we just were on a celebrity yeah. equinox cruise and you know a month before we got there we actually watched youtube to check out the the, the ship and trying to get a handle on it. And they just went crazy on how horrible the internet was. Well, when we came on, they had Starlink for one week. And uh, I was able to actually upload videos oh, cool. on a cruise ship that couldn't even, you know, have regular internet. So obviously that's going to be another great option for you guys to offer it with or without and, and give those customers that flexibility. And I think that's the other thing people should know also. When you order it, you guys have a lot of options. Mm -hmm. So we were looking at that. We just did yeah. a Galleria video. Uh, if you want to check out that Galleria right video, there. check it right, 2003. And there's just a ton of different options yeah. you can get. Yeah. And if you order that, that becomes really nice. And the other thing is the layout. A lot of people that are new to this don't realize how many different layouts. I think you have four on the Galleria, you have three on the Beyond. Yep. How many are you up to now? You got the brand three, new one on the Nova. Three on Nova. And three on Nova too, right? So now a traditional Class B guy that's been around for a long time is probably shaking his head and going, "You can't build that many Class B floor plans." I think that's one of our benefits. Yeah. You know, uh, Winnebago has the rear bath and the side bath with the flip-up bed, and 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 that's yep. it's either those yeah. two. So we've always been a fan to a certain extent. Um, that options do put the consumer in a better position to get exactly what they want. And we can't just be so streamlined. Um, you know, um, Henry Ford used to say a long time ago, of course you can get any color of Model T that you want as long as it's black. Yeah. And I love that. It, it, it's, it's simplicity to a certain point, but he didn't build Class Bs and I didn't build Model Ts, so we'll do some more options for our customers than he would. Have. Yeah, because when you think about it, you think about three, the Nova, Beyond, Galleria, but really what you have is 10 vans, yep. four, three, three. So, and that really matters because if you're single, there's a certain type of layout. Yep. You know, if you're a heavier set, and you want a bigger bathroom, those rear bath layouts yep. are really popular, so right? compromise from the customer. To get exactly, the product, exactly. So. And, you know, if you're looking for the all wheel, you've got, so we really encourage people, you know, it's funny because they'll come into one particular van and they'll be like, well, this, I don't really think the Beyond's for me. And it's like, well, wait a minute, what are you looking for? And then they'll highlight the layout that they want. And you, yeah, wait a minute, they have that. You actually did that. At the Ocala show, helping I, out somebody, yeah. uh, buying a van. Uh, we were there with uh, Sunshine State and uh, the Leche 
uh, they were asking her because they know she does all she does all these videos and uh, they really wanted her opinion not the sales guy's opinion and she kind of directed them in the right direction and gave them all the features and benefits and what to look for and that worked out so everybody back home we highly encourage you to check out all the different yes. floor plans not just the model yeah. and really suit it to your needs and what the people needed to realize uh, yes uh, sometimes people think well let's go on a custom van because uh, i have something already clear in my mind of what i'm looking for and i want i'm really set on this well there is a lot more behind the scene and today probably we we give you gave you an idea on that like okay where do you put the water where do you put the uh, heat where do you put the electricity so the layout can be possible in your mind but uh, nick and his team like everybody else that manufacture an rv can tell you well that is not really uh possible to make a reality yeah, yeah. so seeing this option trying to understand okay what i really look for can be like in some way meeting one of these designs mm -hmm. and that may be easier for yeah everybody. something something we do the d's think of the the d's any d floor plan to, to uh, uh, entrance in the slider exit in the rear hallway storage paddle boards bikes pets okay um rb if you don't want to look out the back end of your van and that vista outside of being in the toilet area is in, if that rear bath and you want all the windows and if you want more windows inside the rear bath 20c 22c if you're gonna be traveling the country with some other family guests 22c so we kind of direct them in you know yeah. and then then they're on their own to find out what yeah and you guys make so many yeah. and you've got it all the bugs worked out that's the other thing is getting that quality and reliability yeah. so and check for accessories so what when we checked for hours like yes we love the, the fact that we have the bed we keep the bed down mm -hmm. and uh, we have it uh, a big space for us to sleep we have the dogs with us so some extra space in the bed obviously help however like for example we didn't have enough storage for everything we wanted to bring with us so accessories like our stowaway that you can find here by yep, the way go check out and, that video and, other and we showed you how we filled up the stowaway yeah. Go ahead and show that, them that video. Yeah. That <laughs> helps you to actually meet your extra need. And uh, instead of uh, another design, that is actually what you can yep. make a reality. And yeah. Make it work for you. All right, let's keep going, guys. Right. Let's show them the rest. So let's see. Table. Let's make it. If you're enjoying the video so far, please give us a big like, comment down below. What do you think of the Coachman products? What do you think of this factory tour? And what is your favorite Class B? Also, definitely check out our channel. Over 4 million views in just the last two years. We've got everything from great outdoor games, stowaway to battery upgrades. We show you all kinds of different locations like on the border. But how about all over the world? Iceland, Europe, you name it, we've got it. And we do all kinds of ATVs, fishing, hiking. We've got all kinds of good stuff, including skiing, cruising, you name it. So if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean so much to us. Help us grow this channel and hit the like button down below. This video took a ton of editing, and we hope you enjoy it. Let's get back to the tour. Okay. So the Truma's going in here. Yep, Truma's okay. Truma's getting dropped in. We still got to put the Fantastic fan in, but we got cabinet doors in now. Yeah. Wiring coming through the base cabinetry. We got the... Looks like 3,000 watt inverter. This is going to be a lithium unit. Very cool. Yeah. It's cool how you got all these Fords stacked up. Oh, Looking yeah, good. Having a good time. Looking good, Nick. Looking good. I can see our home wow. Okay. So we got some uh, lithium action in this one, Nick. Yep. Still having major success with uh, lithionics. And it's kind of cool. I watch a lot of self building YouTube bands, and I'm seeing more and more guys switching from some other brands to lithionics. So. Um, they do a great job, got a long standing relationship. This is the 630 internal heated. Okay. So it's got its own internal heater. Liche, you notice we always keep the lithium battery in the van. Yeah. All right. This is the easiest way to control a major, major investment. Um, 10,000 cycles from zero, uh, Chinese cells assembled in uh, Clearwater, Florida. Um, but this thing right here is what um okay you this out. is my melatonin yeah this puts me to sleep at night yeah. the fact that they've passed um 1973 ul listing that means one of my guys can take a screw 
run it through a couple cells. This thing will not go into thermal runaway. And it's one of the only lithium batteries in North America that can take a uh, flight on a FedEx plane. Wow. Okay. Because of its safety features. That's so huge. I'm really proud of it. We get approached by lithium people every day. Um, I'm very happy with where we're at. Yeah, that's awesome. Very cool. Aventa installed now. Truman did a, just an amazing job on that AC. Yeah, everyone seems to be happy with it. Yeah. So yeah. everything's been... Couple, yeah. You know, I, I think the one neat feature... Hey, tell your wife, no more. No more, no more. All right, guys. We got another one. Okay, so this is for people who haven't taken off their rear door panels. This is our insulated rear door. Our ABS rear door with ins with insulation. So, guys, when we're insulating our doors, please refrain from taking this material back and jamming the OEM cavity where I need these things to work for you uh, because this is a second exit, okay? Yeah. You can do what you want, all right? But this is how we do it. We keep over the OEM. Um, we got the cozy wrap here. Then the ABS door goes over it. Just watch out when you're insulating inside the doors because we got to make sure the mechanisms work. And sometimes we've ran into some customers that really wanted an insulated door. I don't blame them. Our heads are yeah. typically right here. Yeah. Um, this is more for sound than cold and heat. Yeah. Um, yeah. Honestly, like we, I mean, we already underlined that we camp at very cold temperatures. Yep. Yep. And we never had an issue with uh, like cold coming in yeah. from these doors so i can testify that the insulation works perfect and if you really want to block a little bit uh one idea that we did in the past it was to actually put uh, some pillows mm -hmm. between the door and the mattress and in this way you don't have any extra air yep. coming yeah out. yeah so just Absolutely. a very simple homemade yep. fix so over here we got uh, next uh, this week's Corian countertops that are all ready. We got screen doors. Um, all right, now we're getting to the end here. Yeah, it's now starting to come together. Look at these. Coming together. Wow. Again, back to 22D. This is or 20D. This is a 20D access to access, very pet friendly. Kayaks, bikes, electric bikes. Um, this is getting ready to go through some, we start QC in here. And um, yeah, 22D has been one of our oldest floor plans and it's still one of our top floor plans, very versatile. Wow, super cool. Yep. And here's your water tanks yep, built inside. in here also yep. on the inside. Super cool, great unit. Wow, so it's great to see all these Beyonds, Aliche, lined up in a row like this. This is so cool. What do we got on this one, Nick? Uh, 22D. Again, really cool opportunity here. Lithium battery inside, protected from the elements. On the 22D, fresh water tank can be inside. It does take up a little bit of storage. I'm not going to sit here and... But to have this investment, yep. to be not have to worry about lithium battery inside, and the fresh water tank inside. Um, you could look at this as, if you're gonna be in the van, this can be a four season van. Yeah. Because if you're gonna be in it, the heat or cool is gonna be on, right? Yep. So now sitting in the parking lot, no. Sitting right. in storage, no. Right. But, um, pretty cool, 22D. And you know, this maple, this uh, maple that we have, I have no plans in changing it. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna be looking at here in the next, um, uh, June, July-ish, you're going to probably see a couple different Corian colors from us oh, really? um, that we've picked out and a couple little items uh, that we can talk about a little as we get closer to that time frame. Okay. So, okay. Yep. Wow, now you <laughs> make me curious and I have to wait for All good. Yeah, we have to wait. Uh, good. <laughs> so here, if we just want to scroll over here real quick, yep. all of our sofas for this week. Okay. Um, again, the 180 lay flat sofa. Um, it should lay flat. My sofa, even though the sofa articulates, my bed at home, I can put a board on and it's flat. So we have the 180 degree lay flat guarantee. And then we have the Q foam that we put in about a year and a half ago. And it is, it is very, very plush, very, very comfy. We yeah, a lot of we were one of the very first to get this. Yeah. And ours is a 21 model. Yeah. And uh, yeah. 
So it's a 21 and uh, we were one of the first to get it. And what was funny is when we did all the research, people were complaining about it. We got lucky, we got it. I think we were one of the first bands yeah. to get it. And we've never had to have an extra mattress or anything goofy. No, no. And everybody that's had them loves them. So yeah. they're fantastic. The idea, you know, even my sales guys were like, Nick, you're gonna put in, this is $300 to switch all of our furniture. This means the seat recovers, the jump seats, and the sofa or the dinette. It's gonna be about a 300 buck increase. I'm like, well, if number one, we're losing sales to Pleasure Way because they've got a very good sofa foam pack. Yeah. It's, they've been using it forever. I could not duplicate it. So I found Q Foam, got with our supplier, and it, it was a home run. A lot of customers now, particularly at the Ocala Rally, go, hey, what's not in my van? Yeah. What's not in my rear overhead? Yeah. And I'm like, what are you talking about? They're like, we don't have our two inches of foam in there. This is huge. Yeah. We will gladly pay 300 bucks extra so we don't have to bring that down every night. Yeah. Or waste that huge storage area. Yeah. So, pretty cool. I can testify yeah. that it's a yeah. big plus. <laughs> then we can buzz. This is our final finish. Final finish over here. So, Kim and the gals are going to be cleaning this up. Oh, 20 D. We got one. Very cool. Yeah, so 20D, basically it is a 20C from the TV back, it is a D. So it's got the kitchen of a C, but the cushions and the dinette of a 20D. In the past, in our D, we don't, you'd have to take your inserts, put them here, and then throw another cushion in the middle. So this year, or for this model, and we're going to be going to this, you have cross members mm -hmm. and you just pull your cushion. Huge amount of storage here. We wanted to leave this open. We've done this for a customer or two in the past. So great for uh, kitty litter, dogs, dog food, having fishing pole access, and it's open so they're not constantly, we had somebody go, did you forget anything? And the wife goes, no, I want that open. This yeah. is This is perfect so I don't have to Open a drawer to get around the corner. Yeah. We might add a timbre door here, um, but this was a huge home run. Um, again, hold on. This, I love this. Stand right there. I mean, this, having these two oh. features here. Very cool. Yep. I am a fan of this. And then the big, <laughs> big refrigerator, the Nova Cool 7300. Yeah. Really nice feature. Super cool. Wow, so this is a cool layout, right, Alice? Oh, yeah. I mean, this is extra space that uh, you can't find in any one of the other beds. Yeah, this is nice. Super cool. So, now, Nick, where do we find the water and uh, the lithium bottle? So, when lithium mm. is in here, you will not have a little cubby cut in here. When lithium is here, you've got the vent. Okay. 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 And then your battery, or pardon me, your freshwater tank is going to be just in front of the end of that storage cubby. Okay. And it goes, creeps a little bit underneath our base cabinet. Okay. Wow. So it's nice wide open, you know? It's a nice wide open floor plan. Yeah. Think about it like if we had the bicycle that can just fit in mm -hmm. here and then over here you have your food. we have our fishing poles uh, and the food yep. and the food and the backpacks and everything. And, and then we're getting a ton of people asking for us to drop the shirt locker and do a, a fixed bed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that, that might be next. <laughs> <laughs> that could be well, your fourth you know, layout. What's, what's crazy is walking the Ocala show get together all the 20 c customers that leave their bed down oh yeah we always leave our, our 22 c yep. is down yeah. most yep. of it's the down, time uh, uh, with the exception of today yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's some, down every day. some people want it up so they can get about i think 38 to 40 inches is a typical yeah uh, bicycle yeah um, yeah you know we need i need to keep on pushing to get younger customers in our products yeah um we got great customers. We're really good at 55, 60, and older. Um, we're going to be coming out with some things slowly to bring in some different customers. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't, I'm not going to be doing. We're, you're going to see some HPL interiors from us. Um, I don't want to go. This is 
this is going to be our flagship and then i think we can come in underneath with some high pressure laminate type product a little bit european but i don't it's not going to be radius and it's not going to be high gloss i'm really tired of that look um so we're working on some things that sounds good <laughs> yep. yeah. all right awesome and then over here we got a beyond getting ready to go and then tomorrow morning the one of our most charismatic employees thad will be installing the super springs the sumo springs international leaf kit for the ford and putting in the coil uh, the coil helper is already in that gets put in in the back okay um, but there you can see tank hangers gate valves of a beyond without running boards on wow i uh, got the new smart plug i uh, got the exterior solar port um, mixed reviews on this some people love it some people don't we're taking a look at that i think it's nice and clean yep. yeah. might paint it yeah yep very that's, cool that's about it guys all right absolutely awesome yep. aliche come on over yep. and uh let's finish this video up definitely thank you so much nick it's been no a problem. pleasure from day one no, working with you the past yep. couple of years has been tremendous and uh we appreciate all your support on how to have fun outdoor youtube channel uh, you've given us access to so much oh, yeah. and really helped us out and uh, we love promoting the brand there is no for everyone back home we have no tie with any manufacturer that's one of the cool things about our channel it's a, it's a hobby channel that's really grown way more than we ever dreamed of. And uh, we just hit over 4 million views in our first two years. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, everyone. And we couldn't have done it without, you know, the, the Coachman Beyond because it got us out on the road, got us. It's actually what caused us to start the channel. And I think the other thing that's often forgotten about the RV life, especially, you know, the class B life, mm -hmm. is that there's no value that you can put on all the experiences and all the memories and all the cool places yeah. that you go and the difference in your lifestyle, right? Mm -hmm. So Alicia and I have a normal job like everybody else, uh, but we actually utilize ours to go to customers. And while we go to customers, we film YouTube everywhere on the weekends and weekdays and mix it up and quite honestly we've seen so many amazing places met so many amazing people the relationships the friendships all those things are priceless and uh, i know when you look at these vans you say oh am i going to spend 125 am i going to spend 140 what everyone forgets about is all of those great memories experiences and everything you learn on being on the road so Absolutely. And the, when you spend those money, consider the quality that you're buying. Yeah. So we might be biased, but we actually choose uh, like a coachman beyond for a reason. And uh, yes, the customer service and uh, the support and the family is one of them. But also today you saw yourself uh, the quality that they put into this. So why not spend your money on something that is really valuable? Yeah, and we appreciate, uh, we started off this morning 21 degrees, uh, unplugged the uh, Class B, and uh, we appreciate all your guys uh, working with us today in this cold weather. But Aliche, <laughs> if you want to finish it up for everybody back home. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, you enjoyed discovering more on uh, uh, this uh, Coachman Absolutely. Award and about uh, the great job that Nick and uh, the whole uh, uh, team is doing for us every day. So if you did so, don't forget to subscribe like button and thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Have, Have fun. fun. Outdoors.